Montenegro has already expressed some of its key stance as a member of the Sri Lanka core group. We welcome the initial steps of the government to address some key issues related to the legal, institutional and security reforms. A more comprehensive and deeper, deeper reform agenda, however, is needed for Sri Lanka to comply with its international obligations and to prevent a recurrence of grave human rights violations. We emphasize that the upcoming constitutional process should lead to the independence of the judiciary and other key institutions and the devolution of political authority. This is key for a genuine reconciliation and the full enjoyment of the human rights of all Sri Lankans. To this end, we call on the government to fully consider the numerous and consecutive recommendations by various UN human rights mechanisms. We also call on the government to conduct a transparent, open and inclusive public deb debate on the draft constitution before it is presented to the parliament. The lack of substantial progress in the domestically driven accountability and reconciliation process further underscores the need for the government to also adopt and implement comprehensive transitional justice measures. To this end, we welcome the OHCHR's increased involvement in certain issues of the accountability process and recall the critical importance of securing the necessary budgetary allocation for its work. Thank you.